Okay, so here's our next example. We're going to move on now to a solid of revolution. Um, so we're looking at a situation much like we, we talked about in the introduction. So let's sketch out the object that we want to deal with here. So the object we're dealing with is the graph y equals 1 over x. So we know that's a hyperbola, right? But we only want the piece for x between 1 and 2. So come down, come down. We started about there. Well, we ended about there. Okay, so that's the piece we want to revolve. So we imagine taking that now and, and spinning it around the x-axis. So I'm going to kind of put the mirror image down here for the other half. And we just draw in the disks, right? It's not absolutely mandatory that you sketch the solid, but it often helps to set up the problem, especially once we move into more complicated situations where we might be dealing with more than one curve or more complicated regions that we're trying to revolve. So we have, we have this particular situation here, right? So the radius of, of a disk, right? Here's, here's a sort of a typical disk at some value x. The radius of that disk is just going to be the y value. y is equal to 1 over x, right? So the radius is 1 over x. The volume formula is sitting right here. So we can actually set this up. So we say, well, the volume is pi. Right? We can bring the pi out front. It's a constant times the integral from 1 to 2 of f of x squared dx, where this time f of x is 1 over x. So we have pi times the integral from 1 to 2, 1 over x squared dx. So that's x to the minus 2. Power rule gives us an antiderivative for that, uh, minus pi over x. We're evaluating from 1 to 2. Okay, so we get minus pi over 2 minus 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 pi, so plus pi, which gives us an answer of pi over 2 for the integral. 